Hey guys, Bearded Dragon here. Uh, I just thought I would do a quick video on um, substrates for your Bearded Dragon, what not to use and what to use. Uh, sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, so for your substrates not to use, um, now there's a wide variety of things not to use and then there's a wide variety of things to use. So I'm just going to go through the things not to use and again this is all proper information that you need to know because if you don't know this then you're probably going to end up killing your bearded dragon. So, uh, okay, so for your substrates not to use, you're not going to want to use sand or rep tea sand. Um, the only reason you don't use sand is because of something called impaction, which I'm probably, most definitely, you've heard of it. It's just when your bearded dragon ingests sand when he's biting crickets or eating things like your lettuce you provide for him. So it's best to use, uh, to not use sand. Uh, calcium sand, um, never use calcium sand, even though it might say lower risk of impaction or something like that. It still gives him impaction that, no matter what. So uh, calcium sand, yeah, I know when they do ingest it, it gives them some calcium. It's just the problem with that is you can do something called calcium overload in their system, and it could kill them. Um, don't use walnut shells, grounded up walnut shells. Those are sharper, and I know they are a little bit bigger, but it's still best to use, um, you know, not to use that because if you don't, um, you know, if you don't not use it, that's that made any sense. If you use it, and it's probably going to end up killing your bearded dragon from impaction. It can impact your bearded dragon. Um, cocoa husk slash eco earth. Um, you know, eco earth is the same thing as cocoa husk. It's just coconut, you know, the outer side of the coconut husk. It's just not that pretty to put in there. And it's also can, you know, they can ingest it, uh, but I just don't recommend using it. Uh, Repti bark, um, that's something that is more used for tortoises and stuff, but if you do end up wanting to put it in your bearded dragon tank, don't because it's sharp. Uh, there's like sharp edges to that and it could cut your bearded dragon and it can also hurt them when they ingest it. Uh, aspen bedding, that's more for snakes. Uh, I don't know why some people use it for their bearded dragons. I just, you don't use aspen bedding for bearded dragons. So don't use that for your bearded dragon. Um... And then moss, you don't use moss because, you know, it's just, it's not for, it's more for amphibians, it's not for actual desert re dwelling reptiles, so the best thing to do is not get moss. Uh, no store sand, like, don't go to Lowe's and go buy sand, like, like, I know f some people will go out and buy, a. Uh, Play sand, uh, color sand, working sand, all sorts of stuff. Don't use any kind of sand. No sand. No and no kind of sand. Even if it says lower risk of impaction, it can still give them some risk of impaction. No sand. No calcium sand. No walnut shells. No cocoa husks slash eco earth. No repti bark. No moss. No aspen bedding. Of course, because that's for snakes. Um, another thing is not to or uh, to use. These are now are the things to use and what is the best thing for your reptile. Um, substrates to use. Um, this is what I have in there now. It's called a reptile carpet. Reptile carpet is great. There's no risks whatsoever. It's great. They get grip. Like they can grip the reptile carpet. Um, you know, it's it looks nice in there. It's not. They're not. You know, slipping around when they're walking. It looks, you know, like their natural environment. Now, granted, they don't have, for 40 gallon tanks, at least in my state, they don't have uh, brown reptile carpet, but I think it still looks cool uh, having it green. So, no risks to reptile carpet. Uh, the only thing you do have to watch out for with reptile carpet is just little reptile carpet fibers hanging off the ends of them, which they won't have, like, you know, they won't have a that when you buy it, it's just if you cut it, if you have to cut it for some sort sort of reason, then it might happen, so just, you know, cut those off, it's not a hassle at all, uh, you, you just, another thing is, wait, if your bearded dragon does, you know, poop or something, you, you just wait for it to dry, and then you can take it and scoop it up, 
Uh, you just throw it in the wash every month or so. It's really simple. Um, you want uh, tile. Tile's good. Um, the only thing is you want it non-slippery because if it is tile, uh, it is tends to be slippery and, and they don't tend to enjoy it. But it looks nice in there and there's no risk whatsoever of impaction with tile. There's you know no risks with the tile except for slippery. So you want kind of gripping tile. Uh, paper towels are optional. Those are typically for when they're babies. You can use paper towels, but you'll definitely want to upgrade once they get to at least a month or two. Um, at least a month. Uh, when they're about three months, that's when you definitely need to switch to something like like a reptile carpet. Uh, and newspaper again. That's for you know juveniles and stuff. You know you just that should be temporary. You should never have them. You know use that when they're older because it's just it's not that nice looking and you know you just you don't know so the best thing to do is just to use a uh, paper or paper towels tile non slippery newspaper and reptile carpet reptile carpet is the number one recommended thing in my list uh, so you definitely want to use reptile carpet no sorts of sand no anything that causes impaction why risk it even when they're adults why risk um, having them die over a stupid thing that many people warned, warned you about. So just be really, like, good when you're, you know, choosing your things. Make sure you don't, you know, uh, underestimate the power of sand. It, it really is not the best, even though a lot of people have, you know, they're like, well, sand is their natural environment. Really, it's actually not. It's, it's, it's clay-like sand. It's, com it's, impacted sand it's compacted together so they don't ingest it when it's clay like sand so they don't ingest it it's it's like a really compacted together and it's it's not it's like clay so it's not at all they don't die from impaction out in the you know desert so uh just simple substrates to use that you know the dangers are like almost unlimited with with, uh, you know, any sand. So just make sure you don't use sand and reptile carpet, tile, newspaper, and paper towels is the way to go. So uh, I'll see you guys later.